beagle is a small scent hound that was bred in England for hunting purposes. They are among the top 10 most popular dog breeds in the United States. Beagles are relatively low maintenance dogs and are fairly easy to groom. However, regular grooming is essential for their overall health and well-being. Beagles have a short and double layered coat. The outer layer is coarse, which works as a protective layer. The inner layer is soft and dense. It works as an insulating layer, shielding them from hot and cold temperatures. Regular brushing is essential for keeping their coat clean, smooth, and dirt free. Brushing is more effective than bathing when it comes to the health and appearance of a coat. Brushing removes dirt, debris, and loose hair from their coat. It stimulates their skin to produce more oils, making the fur healthier and shinier. Brushing also reduces shedding and is an excellent way of removing dead hair. Early exposure to the brushing process is essential to make your puppy familiar with the process. Beagle puppies are born with soft and fluffy coats. Around four to six months, they lose their puppy coat and develop a more resilient adult coat. Puppies shed minimally and don't require a lot of brushing. However, you can do brushing with the sole purpose of making them used to the process. Start brushing your beagle puppy when he is about eight to 10 weeks old. Brush them once or twice a week using gentle grooming tools. Make every session enjoyable and rewarding for them. Puppies are not familiar with the grooming tools and may resist but you can overcome this by giving a lot of praise and treats. Choose a quiet place for brushing, where your dog will not be disturbed or distracted. You can brush them outside, especially during their shedding seasons, because there will be a lot of loose hair. Make sure your dog is calm and comfortable. The best time for brushing is when they are not feeling energetic, such as after a walk or exercise. Use a good quality bristle brush, Start from the neck and work your way down towards their belly, chest, legs, and tail. Give long, smooth strokes in the direction of hair growth. Use the brush gently without pulling their fur. Be extra careful around their sensitive body parts, such as the face, muzzle, and paws. A bristle brush is the basic grooming brush for beagles. It is used along with a pin brush. You can also use a de-shedding tool or grooming gloves. A slicker brush is not the best option because beagles have short fur which doesn't get matted. Making the brushing session an enjoyable and rewarding experience for your dog. After completing the process, give him treats and praise his behavior. Beagles love playing around in the mud and their coats can quickly get dirty. They have short fur which sheds moderately throughout the year. They need to be brushed once or twice a week. However, during their shedding seasons, they need to be brushed daily. Beagles shed moderately throughout the year, but shed heavily during their shedding seasons, which are spring and fall. They shed heaviest in the spring when they are losing their winter coats. Shedding is a completely natural process for dogs with double layered coats, in which old strands of hair are replaced by new hair. This seasonal shedding prepares their coats for the upcoming weather changes. This blowing of coat results in a lot of loose hair. There will be fur all around the house. This lasts for about two to four weeks. They will need daily brushing during their shedding seasons. You can use a de-shedding brush to remove loose hair from their coat. Food plays a significant role in the health and appearance of a coat. If your dog has a dull coat, one of the main reasons could be its diet. Excessive shedding can sometimes be caused by a poor diet. Protein is the most important ingredient because a dog's fur is made entirely from protein. Fats in the form of omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids help in dealing with dry and dull coats. Give your dog a high quality and well-balanced diet filled with all the vitamins and minerals. A pin and a bristle brush are the basic grooming tools for a beagle. A double-sided brush that has pins on one side and bristles on the other. This is a must-have brush for a beagle. Start with a pin brush to remove dirt, debris, and loose hair. And then finish with a bristle brush to smooth the hair and add shine to the dog's coat. 
The primary purpose of a slicker brush is to remove mats and tangled hair. They are often used on medium to long-haired or curly-haired dogs. It is not a good option for beagles, since they have short fur that does not tangle. A pin brush is the best alternative to a slicker brush. However, a slicker brush can only be used occasionally to remove dead, loose hair from their undercoat. If you or your dog are not comfortable with brushes, you can use some hound gloves. They are designed in a way to fit easily into your hand and reach all parts of the dog's body. They remove debris and loose hair from their coat while also massaging their skin. They are gentle but effective and provide a soothing brushing experience. Beagles need a de-shedding tool to pull out dead, loose hair from their undercoat. It is an essential grooming tool and is used frequently when they are blowing their coats. The basic purpose of a de-shedding tool is to remove dead, loose hair from a dog's undercoat, which cannot be done with regular brushes. Scent hounds primarily use their noses, and a dry nose is a common problem for them. Beagles, like other scent hounds, have very sensitive noses, and they often encounter a dry nose problem. Examine your beagle's nose regularly. You don't need to be worried if their nose is a bit dry since that will happen a lot in beagles. However, if the problem persists, it could lead to peeling or even cracking of the nose. There are a number of internal body conditions or environmental factors that cause dry nose. A dry nose in beagles can be caused by spending a lot of time in the sun. Cold and dry air instantly makes their nose dry. A low, humid environment, whether inside or outside, will also cause a dry nose. Dehydration is a problem, especially in summer. Keep your beagle hydrated by providing plenty of water. Allergies could also be a main reason for the dry nose of beagles. When a beagle sleeps, his nose remains dry, but when he wakes up, the moisture level returns quickly. You can keep their noses moist by taking a few simple steps. When there is little humidity and the air is dry, use humidifiers. This raises the humidity level in the air, preventing their nose from drying out. In the winter, the air remains dry and you need to use humidifiers inside the house. Using a nose balm is the best thing you can do. Apply a nose balm when the weather is too hot or cold. A good quality nose balm shields them from the sun and cold wind. It keeps their nose from drying out. Drying of the nose can sometimes be caused by dehydration issues. Make sure your beagle is getting enough water. Beagles have a distinct body odor. They have a higher concentration of odor-producing microbes on their bodies, which is a common feature of scent hounds. They need regular baths to get rid of all these excessive body oil and odor. Bathing improves the appearance of their coat by removing dirt, debris, and loose hair. It is also beneficial to their underlying skin as it keeps allergies and infections at bay. It is recommended to brush your dog before bathing. This helps to remove dead, loose hair from their coat. It also removes the outside dirt and debris and prepares their coat for bathing. You can bathe your beagle in a bathtub or in an open area outside. If your beagle is a puppy, you can bathe him in the sink. Place a towel or non-slippery mat on the bottom surface to prevent your dog from slipping. The water temperature is critical. Make sure to use lukewarm water. Fill the tub with a few inches of water. Invite your dog to the bathtub using treats and an encouraging voice. Once your dog is comfortable in the tub, start pouring water over his whole body, except the head. His head and face should be washed at the end, as pouring water on his face would scare him and he may try to jump out of the tub. Squeeze some dog-specific shampoo and rub it gently over their body. Beagles have a coarse and thick coat, which means your hands will not be able to scrub the shampoo effectively. It is recommended to use a bathing brush for massaging the shampoo. Choose a soft bathing brush and use it gently over their whole body, including the underbelly, armpits, 
sanitary areas, and tail. If there is a lot of dirt on their body, use the shampoo two to three times until it is fully clean. His face should be washed at the end. Take special care of their eyes, ears, and muzzle, and prevent them from shampooing. Use wipes or a damp washcloth to clean their eyes and muzzle. Cover their ears with cotton balls. The floppy ears of beagles can easily trap moisture and become infected. It is very important to thoroughly rinse your dog. Any soap residue on their skin could cause irritation and itching. You will need to double check to ensure that no traces of shampoo remain on their body. Once you have rinsed your dog, let him shake his body to get rid of excessive water. Then use some clean towels to dry your dog. You can also use a hair dryer to speed up the drying process. Use a canine's hair dryer. Keep it at the lowest heat settings and hold it at a reasonable distance from their skin. You can use a conditioner on your dog. It hydrates their fur, making it softer and shinier. It also prevents itchy and dry skin by restoring moisture to the skin. Always use a dog-specific conditioner made with natural ingredients. Beagles have short and coarse fur, and they require a shampoo tailored for them. Choose a shampoo that is gentle, organic, and pH balanced. If your beagle has allergies or any other skin condition, use a vet-recommended shampoo. Cheap and low-quality shampoos often contain harsh chemicals that strip away the natural oil from their skin, making it dry and itchy. Never use human or even baby shampoo on your beagle. Dogs have different skin and pH balance, and human shampoo could irritate their delicate skin. Beagles need to be bathed every three to four weeks. If your beagle has a lot of outdoor activities, you can bathe them more than once a month. You don't need to be deceived by their coat, which often appears clean. It's because they have a thick coat, which is dirt repellent and doesn't absorb it easily. And that's why owners realize they don't need a bath, while in fact, they do. Beagles have the typical body odor of scent hounds. Their skin produces a lot of body oils, which accumulate on their skin over time. Regular baths are essential to eliminate all of these body oils and odors. Beagles are also more prone to skin allergies. If your dog has one, you can increase or decrease the bathing frequency on the recommendations of a vet. Bathing should be done in accordance with their needs. Overbathing should be avoided, as it is counterproductive. It strips away their natural oils, leading to a dry and itchy skin. Puppies don't need a lot of bathing. They should not be bathed unless they are at least eight weeks old. Before that time, if required, you can wipe him with a damp towel soaked in puppy shampoo. According to the American Kennel Club, around 20% of dogs have some form of ear problems. Beagles are more prone to ear infections because of the specific structure of their ears. They have long, floppy ears, which can easily trap moisture and parasites. Their droopy ears effectively restrict air circulation and thus provide a warm and moist place for bacterial growth. There are some common issues of ear infections in dogs, such as parasites, ear mites, excessive wax buildup, and allergies. External parasites, like bacteria or yeast, grow inside their ear canals and cause ear infections. Ear mites are highly contagious and could transfer from one animal to another. Some wax is necessary, but an excessive buildup of wax can cause blockage and infection. Allergies are the most common cause of recurring ear infections in dogs. There are some common signs of ear infections. If you notice a combination of these symptoms, take them to a vet for further examination. Ear infections in dogs are easily treated if diagnosed early. However, if left untreated, it could cause permanent damage. Gather all the supplies you need, such as cotton balls, ear cleaning solution, 
towel, and your dog's favorite treats. Take a cotton ball, dip it in the ear cleaning solution, and clean the outside ear. Then, squirt a few drops of ear cleaning solution inside his ear canal. Fold the flap over the ear and massage the base of the ear canal for some time. This helps to distribute the solution inside the ear canal. Let go of his ear and your dog will shake his head to take out the solution from the ear and thus also taking out any debris or excessive wax from the ear. Hold the towel close to the ear to collect the solution and debris from the ear. You can repeat this process two to three times. If there is a bad odor and the ear doesn't look clean, in the end, wipe the outside ear with a cotton ball and make it dry. After you've finished the process, reward your dog with treats and praise. Examine their ears once a week to see if they need to be cleaned. Normal dog's ears are pink, odorless, and without any buildup of wax or debris. A bad odor from the ears is a clear sign of an ear infection. The general rule of thumb is to clean their ears every two to three weeks. However, you can do it more often if your beagle has a history of ear infections or plays a lot in the water. Overcleaning is counterproductive, and in fact, it is one of the causes of ear infections in dogs. It could cause inflammation and irritation in their ears. Dogs have sensitive ears, and they need a specifically formulated ear cleaning solution. Always use a dog-specific ear cleaning solution. Hydrogen peroxide or other homemade solutions often irritate their ears. Specially formulated solutions for dogs help to fight off bacteria and dissolve wax or debris. Dogs have L-shaped ear canals, and inserting anything inside will further push the wax or debris inside, causing a blockage or damage to the eardrum. Don't insert Q-tips or cotton swabs inside their ears. Moisture is one of the main reasons for ear infections in dogs. A moist environment provides a breeding place for bacteria and yeast growth, which results in infection. Keep their ears covered during baths. In the wild, dogs would naturally wear down their nails by walking, running, and scratching on rough surfaces. However, pet dogs don't have that lifestyle, and their nails need to be trimmed. Beagles are high-energy dogs who love to jump and play around, and they need healthy paws and nails for such activities. Long, overgrown nails can interfere with everyday activities, like walking. It disturbs their balance, eventually leading to joint problems. Long nails can break easily, exposing the area to infection. If nails are left too long, they will develop an overgrown quick portion, which will be painful to trim. There is also a danger of ingrown nails if not trimmed on time. Nail trimming of dogs does not require any special skills. However, you need to be careful because if your dog gets a painful experience, he will be reluctant to the process in the future. Collect all supplies that you need, such as nail clippers, cotton balls, styptic powder, and your dog's favorite treats. Make your dog calm and comfortable. If your dog keeps pulling away, you may cut his nail in the wrong place. You may start trimming from back nails because they are less sensitive and are easier to handle. Hold his paw firmly and gently apply pressure on the nail to extend it. Start trimming from the tip of the nail. Don't cut off a big chunk of the nail at one time because you have to look for the quick portion of the nail. The quick is the living portion of the dog's nail, and it bleeds if you cut it. So you need to trim their nails bit by bit until you reach the quick. After completing the process, reward your dog with treats and praise his behavior. Trim their nails when they have grown long enough. The growth of nails depends upon their activity level and the surface they are moving on. If they routinely walk on hard surfaces, their nails will grow slower. The general rule of thumb is that their nails need to be trimmed every two weeks. The best way to determine the time of nail trimming is by observing their walk on the floor. 
when you can hear the click sound of their nails while walking on the floor, that is the time for trimming. The quick is the living portion of the nail. It contains blood vessels and nerves, which supply blood to the nail and keeps it alive and growing. If you accidentally cut the quick area and it starts bleeding, apply some styptic powder. It stops the bleeding. The quick is the pink area of nails, and it is clearly visible in light-colored nails. However, it is difficult to spot in dark-colored nails, so you will have to trim their nails bit by bit until you come across the quick. It is very beneficial to make your dog familiar with nail trimming from a young age. You can start gradually by holding their paws, touching their nails, and applying gentle pressure on their nails. Make them used to the touch and sound of nail clippers. Using treats and praise will help you a lot in the process. There are three types of nail clipping tools, guillotine, scissors, and grinder. You can use either of these to clip your beagle's nails. Buy a good quality nail clipper that is sharp enough to cut their nails easily. Don't use a human nail clipper on dogs. The structure and position of human nails are different from those of dogs. Humans have flat, while dogs have round nails. Always use a canine's nail clipper. Dental care is often overlooked, but it is crucial, not only for oral hygiene, but also for their overall health. Dental diseases are very common in dogs and could shorten their lifespan by one to three years. The germs from periodontal diseases could enter the bloodstream and affect other organs, such as the heart and liver. According to the statistics of the American Veterinary Medical Association, around 80% of dogs have some form of periodontal diseases by the age of three. Most dental problems affect them more during the first two to three years of their lives, and you need to be vigilant during this time. It is necessary to make your dog used to the brushing process from a young age. Majority of dental problems begin with the formulation of plaque. When food particles become trapped in their teeth while eating, it creates an ideal environment for bacterial growth. The bacteria, combined with saliva and food, develops plaque. If not cleaned, plaque converts into tartar within days. Tartar starts infecting teeth and gums. One thing leads to another, and eventually it causes tooth decay, receding gums, and tooth loss. Plaque buildup is the root cause of many periodontal diseases. Dogs develop plaque if they are not brushed properly. Brushing their teeth is the most effective way of preventing plaque and tartar, and thus preventing tooth decay and gum diseases. White teeth pink gums, and a fresh smell are the ultimate signs of good dental hygiene. Any disruptions in these indicate dental problems. There are some early signs of dental problems in dogs. It is the first sign of dental problems that do not appear to be serious at first. Plaque buildup causes yellow or brownish discoloration of the teeth. It can be seen on the teeth and along the gum line. Red, inflamed, or bleeding gums are indications of gum issues. A bad breath is the most obvious sign of dental problems. It is produced when bacteria decomposes food particles in their teeth, creating a sulfur-like smell. Bad breath is an indication that bacteria are in the process of developing gum diseases. However, bad breath can sometimes be caused by other health issues, like liver or kidney problems. Ideally, you should brush their teeth daily, but if that's not possible, brush their teeth several times a week. If your dog is used to the process, it will be a quick session of about five minutes. Brush his teeth gently in a circular motion. Make sure to brush all sides of the teeth, front, back, and top. After a successful brushing session, give him treats and praise his behavior. Always use a canine's toothbrush and paste. Dog teeth are positioned differently than humans. They need a dog-specific toothbrush that is designed for their small teeth and weak gums. You can start with a finger brush and then progress to a canine toothbrush. 
Human toothbrushes have hard bristles and are too large for their small mouths. They also need a canine's toothpaste, which is available in a variety of flavors. A canine's toothpaste contains no harmful chemicals and is even edible. Human toothpaste contains certain chemicals, like xylitol and fluoride, which are toxic for dogs. It is very necessary to make them used to teeth brushing from a young age. In the beginning, you can use your fingers to rub their teeth and gums, then slowly progress towards a finger brush and a regular brush. However, if your puppy is not cooperative in the beginning, be patient and use lots of treats and praise. There are a variety of dental cleaning products available such as dental wipes, chews, and treats. These are especially designed to clean a dog's teeth and give him a fresh breath. These chews remove plaque and tartar from the dog's teeth while also strengthening their gums. Dry food and chewing toys are also beneficial for their dental hygiene. Choose products made from natural ingredients and approved by the Veterinary Oral Health Council. However, keep in mind that these products work only to a certain extent and are not a substitute for brushing their teeth. Besides regular brushing, beagles also need a complete dental and oral cleaning at least once a year. A veterinarian will look for any dental problems that may have gone unnoticed, as well as a checkup of their teeth, roots, and gums. They conduct blood tests, x-rays, and other techniques to look for hidden issues. Senior dogs will require more annual examinations.